Hey everyone, Dan Joe back again. Tales from the Classroom, a fun take on classic horror characters in a high school setting. All right, so as we can see, created by Rob Muerto. Uh, I do have an interview where Rob actually came on to talk about the book. Go check that out after you're done with this. It was a lot of fun. But we had a crew, which I believe he said were mostly from Argentina. Sebastian Bron Bronchio? Sure. Juan Castro, Lucas Gattoni, published by Matthias Levadori. It's interesting that, to me, the art in the story fits so well, considering Rob didn't know any of these guys. And uh, I don't know if something happened or what, but none of these people are coming back. <laughs> Thank Jesus. One of the best things in this, right in the beginning. So it's a story about a bunch of kids who are at Cthulhu High. Here, he gives us a little synopsis of the main characters. So we've got Rob. He's a zombie. He's transferring schools. He was like the big zombie on campus. All the women loved him and stuff. Uh, zombies at Cthulhu apparently are real low on the pecking order. Eddie the Wolfman, stoner. Drake. Drake is like, I don't know how you'd say, he's like the captain of the football team type character. Uh, Harry the Swamper. Sw Jesus. Harry the Swamper. He's, you know, creature from the Black Lagoon. He's a big swimming guy. He's buddies with Drake. Drake and Rob are going to sort of have it out. And Principal Kong, who disappointingly is not as tall as King Kong. Like, I thought it would be cool if he was, like, outside looking in a window at people, uh, you know, punching students, like, grabbing in the window, grabbing them out into detention or something. Sadly, that was not the case, but he's the principal. So the art is, like like I said, is surprisingly well matched for this story. It's not, like here you can see the artist clearly can do sort of traditional American style comic books, but that's not what you have here. You have, uh, it's very stylized, a little bit more on the cartoony side. Uh, the colors are fantastic as well. It doesn't have that... Uh, horrible airbrush look. So what we end up with is Rob going to school on his full day by met by the bus driver Cleo Tep. Yep. Here's a better better shot of the guy. And so yeah, Rob meets Eddie and they go to school, they meet Drake and I don't know what she is. Uh, this is Drake's girlfriend, who Rob likes, and maybe she likes Rob? I'm not entirely sure. Here's where we learn that Cthulhu was a very learned uh, elder god. I don't know if he's got a newspaper there, or if that's his diploma from some university. But it is a pretty good story in terms of like beginning, middle, and end. It leaves you wanting more, but the whole, I don't want to get too much into it, but the whole original uh, original book here, um, it ends like on a fairly satisfying point. We do have Rob getting beat up. He's missing some body parts uh, due to shenanigans. Think of... Daniel's son in Karate Kid 1. And then we have a little bit of <laughs> crowdfunding blues, which I guess is a, just a two-pager. More things are coming. And boom. Crowdfunding the Indiegogo campaign. There is, Rob currently has a new campaign up, which is Tales from... K Files, I think it's called. Uh, I'll put a link below, which is um, it's actually going to focus on that bus driver Cleo Tep, and so it's focusing on secondary characters. Whereas Tales from the Classroom Part Two is in the works and it's coming up. The one that's available now about the bus driver, uh, very very cool. Uh, 
Monica, oh my god, I can't remember her name, but the artist from Monster MD is doing the art. I believe Von Klaus has some writing duties on there, at least a backup story. I, I don't know if he's helping out with the whole thing, um, but it looks good. This one, uh, Tales from the Classroom 1, if it goes back on sale, I highly recommend it. Um, it's totally fun teenage humor. You have Boy Likes Girl, you have the sort of the zombie out of water, fish out of water story. It's good, clean fun. Um, it's funny enough as an adult, and it's definitely good for kids, even like middle schoolers, I would say, would probably get a lot out of this. Uh, one of the interesting things is Rob is from Lisbon. Now, <clears throat> sometimes this can make problems in the story when you're doing what's clearly an American high school setting, uh, just because they, they sort of get things wrong. And so, you know, we see here Rob is playing soccer, and he's like the Sewell's soccer star, which um, when I first saw it, I thought like, oh man, he's gonna get like all sorts of cultural things wrong about high school. Uh, but then no, it's actually pretty good. Uh, later on, we see him playing baseball. He's, you know, doing the normal high school things as they would for the U.S., uh, as this is clearly a U.S. theme. Rob apparently went to an American high school in Lisbon, and he lived in L.A. for a number of years, so he's got it down. So, uh, for me, this is a buy. I'm definitely going to buy the, the Cthulhu Files, and I'm in for Classroom 2, just based on the strength of this work. Uh, hopefully, Rob will be back on the channel at some point, and we'll have more talks about this. So, what do you guys think about Tales from the Classroom? Yay? Nay? Leave your comments down below. Uh, click like to subscribe. <laughs> click like and subscribe uh, so that I know you want to see more comic videos, and I'll be back soon.